All right, we're rolling again. I have moved down onto the floor. We're going to do some Pilates, um, core work, a um, little bit of yoga stretching probably as well. So all you need is a mat for this, um, maybe a pillow, if you have a small pillow for a couple of the moves, but totally not necessary. So whatever you've got, um, those of you who have done Pilates with me, you know all the cues, but it's been a while. Um, so I'll probably talk through some of the Pilates stuff, but uh, if you've never done Pilates before, don't be afraid of it. It's really, really great. It's actually, um, once you understand the breathing and what to do, it's, it's really probably one of the best things you can do for your core. Let me turn some music on. Music's less important now, but I like a little music. So for all my Celebration Pilates fans, I don't have Hallelujah on this. All right, we're gonna start laying flat on our back. And you can see how I can get my hand underneath my low back. We're gonna get rid of that. So I'm really gonna press the low back down. I cannot get my fingers, can't get my hand under there. I'm laying really, really flat, but I'm not lifting my hips up off the ground. I've got a really long spine. I can think about each vertebra I press, press down. My belly button is glued down to the floor. So nice, nice long spine. I can feel my back muscles along the floor. I have my knees bent right now. We're gonna inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, arms are gonna come back. The whole time we're breathing, we're just using our rib cage. Inhaling the arms overhead. Exhale, take it back. I'm inhaling through my nose. Exhaling through my mouth like I'm blowing out a candle. All right, we're gonna add legs now. Inhale the arms back, exhale, legs are going to go up. Inhale, slow lower of the legs, feeling the belly muscles work. Exhale, back up. Go two more there. On this next one, I'm going to lift my head, neck, shoulders. You don't have to do that. There. Head, neck, and shoulders are up off the ground. Legs are up. Good. Little pulses of the arms. You can lower your head. You can put your head on a pillow. Inhale for five, exhale for five. This is the Pilates 100. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Keep it going. You can lower the legs. If you've been doing core work, you can take the legs way out. I've got my chin down on my chest. I'm not back here. I'm looking straight ahead of my legs. Let's just do two more sets. Not sure if we got to 100 or not, but we're close. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Lower everything down, hug in. Ooh, I can feel that, I did a lot of core work yesterday. Okay. We're gonna take the legs to bent legs. My knees are right over my hips and the shins are parallel with the mat. Good, I'm gonna relax my head down onto the floor and take the arms out to the side. Pressing my either palms into the floor or my forearms, but not too hard. Inhale, take the legs to one side, about halfway. Exhale, draw back to center. Inhale, take them to the right. Exhale, back to center. Good, inhale to the one side, left, in my case, exhale, back to center. Inhale, again, we're trying to keep the muscles pulling the back, low back, back down onto the floor. Inhale to one side, exhale back. Here's our last one. Inhale. If you need more, you can always rewind and play any of these exercises over again. Good. We're going to keep the legs in that tabletop position. We're just going to take the toes to the floor. Exhale, back up. Take the knees towards your chest. Little lift of the hips. Back down. Good. Inhale. Take toes to the floor. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. And back. Just going to do about four more. And the first move that we did, the side to side, got our obliques. Now we're working straight up and down your middle. My goodness, I really do feel this. Oh. So glad I'm able to work out though. Wow, feels good. Here's our, I don't know, second to last one. Last one, inhale, 
toes to the floor. Exhale, knees back to start. Inhale, knees to your chest. Exhale. Give yourself a little hug there. Ah, feels good. Straighten out your right leg. Nice. Let your left leg hover along the mat. Straight legs. Lift up. Hold in. Inhale. Draw that leg in towards you. Exhale. Switch sides. Good. Inhale. Draw in. Exhale. Switch. Um, just about four days ago, I couldn't get my leg this straight. So I'm so excited. I should show this to Dr. Cooney. Dr. Cooney at Front Range Orthopedics. Look at me straightening this leg. He told me I had to work on that. So I have my head, neck, shoulders lifted. If you're newer to Pilates, you could lower the head here. You're still trying to focus on keeping the muscles of your core, of your torso, pressed down towards the floor. Here's our last one. Draw that leg in. Draw the other leg up to meet it. Good. I'm going to take heels together, toes out. You can lower your head and sit on your hands for this one. So that's option one. I'm going to do a couple like that. Inhale, lower the legs. Real slow. Exhale, raise them up. Real slow. Good. Inhale, take them down. They don't have to go super straight. Just to where you really feel that lower back struggling to stay on the ground. Now if you've been doing Pilates a little more and want to make it a little harder, you'll lift up the head, neck, shoulders and keep your gaze forward at your legs. Inhale, legs go down. Exhale, raise them up. To make it even harder, separate the legs and keep them parallel. So that's tough. Change it out if you need to. That's really hard. The two legs are working independently. They're not pushed against each other. So you can kind of see I'm racing my feet. Race each other down. One more. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, back up. Good. Relax. Last of the um, core work from our back. We're going to take our head into the hands. And we're just going to take it one side, then the other for crisscross. One of the most effective exercises for your core. Taking your opposite shoulder towards your knee as it comes in, just breathing steadily. I like to exhale on the side, inhale as I'm crossing over. As long as you're breathing big and keeping that breath in the rib cage, you're doing it right. Sean Vig, another one of my teachers. He always said that about crisscross. It's so effective. So if you only have time to do one or two core exercises, make sure you throw in crisscross. Good, lie it down. That's it for the stuff laying flat on our back. Straighten your legs out. Lift the arms up overhead for a nice big stretch. We're gonna do the Pilates roll up. Inhale, arms come up, chin tucks. Lift yourself up. We're sitting up straight, reach forward. Good, inhale, exhale, slow lower down. Hey, we're back on our backs. I said we were done. All right, we'll stay up this time. One more, lift yourself up. Take that stretch. All right, I'm gonna make do using this pillow as a little cushion. You don't need it. If you have a ball, even better, one of those little squishy balls. We're just gonna do a little bit of work here. I have my heels dug into the ground. You could do it flat-footed too. It's most important in earthquake, this is called earthquake, is to keep your back super straight. Oops, there goes my pillow. Back is straight. Imagine your back is, you're leaning back into a deck chair. So your back goes back, it's fully supported. I didn't round back, I didn't drop my head. It's one line leaning back. Good. I like my heels down. Belly's pulled in, chest is lifted out. So again, I'm not collapsing in. I've got the chest up. We're gonna lift one arm up and back down. Inhale, other side and back down. Good. I know where we're probably going with this. It will be both arms. I'm shaking in the belly. Last one on this side. Let's take a little break. Come up out of it. Take a breath and then lean it back. Pull 
the belly and chest out. This time, both arms up. Back down. Inhale. Let that shake happen. We're just doing four. Inhale. And back. Last one. Inhale. Hold the arms up if you can. If it's too much, just hang on under the legs. Lift up and let some shake happen in the belly. Shake is happening. Shake is happening. Pull it in. Nice. Oh, come out of that. Give yourself a little stretch forward. All right. That was some good core. We're going to turn it around. Side leg, my favorite. So, demonstrating. It looks like I'm sitting in a chair. My shins are right along the edge of the mat. And then my knees are straight out from my hips. I'm holding myself up on my elbow. You could lay down if you wanted to, as long as you're supporting yourself. The most important thing is this belly here is nice and strong. You could use the pillow under here as well. Try to lift the belly away from the floor. Just open up and close. Open, close, little clamshare. Shell, lift, and lower. Now if you're newer again, trying Pilates out or trying side leg for the first time, hand in front. You've been doing this a while, hand goes to the hip. A little more of a balance challenge. Good. Hold right there. Draw the knee in towards your face. Kick it long. Draw it in towards your face. Kick it high. In towards the face. Kick it long. In. Kick it high. In. Kick it long. Whole time. Every muscle in my leg is squeezing tight. I'm really feeling it on this outside. Lift up. In. Kick long. Here's our last one. We're going to hold it up. Good. I need my hand down. We're going to lift. Little tiny lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Bottom leg. Straighten it out. Good. Lift. Six, five, four, three. My knees facing forward. Take it all the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. I've switched to pointed on the way up, flexed on the way down. You can experiment. Down. Just two more. Lift. Last one. And down. Good. Bend here. We're going to bend that knee. So now my foot is behind the leg. Drop forward. Bicycle. So one thing I'm not going to be able to do, well, one of a few things. Can't ski, but no one's skiing right now, so it's all good. Notice I'm trying really hard to keep my bottom legs steady. Oh, it's hard. But I can't ride a bike outside. A little bit too um, risky. So I'm riding my bike down here on my mat where it's safe. A few more. Oh, I can hear my dogs upstairs. I rest that leg down. Good. On the way, changing sides. Give yourself a little hug there. Open up that hip. Other side. Again, if the pillow felt good underneath your side, set yourself up. All right, we'll make sure I can do this side. Yeah, there we go. We've got my shin right there. I got to be careful getting into it on this side. Good. And then we lift it up and down. Lift it up and down. Up. Down. Little clamshells. Up and down. Three. Two. One, parallel legs, knees coming in. Here we go. Kick it in, kick long. In, kick high. In, kick long. In, kick high. Really get in there. Kick high. In, long. Still breathing. Remember, I always say this is core work too. That's why I do side leg once we're on the mat instead of at the bar. In, Long, in, high. Probably more on this side than we needed to. In, leave it high. Little lifts. Seven more. Six, five, four, three. Knee is facing forward. Hold it up. Bottom leg. Carefully, Maggie. There we go. Down and up. Nice. 
play again with that point and flex. Lift. And lower. Does it matter what your range of motion is? You want to keep the knee forward though. I could get a lot higher if I turn my knee up. Or I get that leg right by my face. That's not what we're doing. All right, bend it right there. Bicycle, close us out. In, sweep around. Trying to hold my whole core still. Only thing working here is that leg. Only thing moving, I should say. The core's working super hard. Oh, we're so close, you guys. We're so close to being done in a nice stretch. So this is a little taste of Pilates after our bar work. If you like this, I'll do some yoga next. Oh, I think that's about enough of that. Let that leg come down and give it a stretch. So a little easier for me to lay on my back to stretch instead of crossing it over if it felt good um, to do that seated stretch, you can do it. Got my foot flexed, got my knee out to the side to get a little deeper in there. I can press against it. I also could hug in tighter here. Stretch it all out. Let those legs come down, calm down. Both legs up in there. Let those legs just relax. The leg you lifted first, leave it up. The leg you just lifted, let it come down. Give this side a nice long stretch. Nice long stretch. Rotate your ankle. Nice. Let it drop out to the side. As that happens, straighten out your other leg. Bend that knee. Draw it across the body. Take a twist. Seriously, you guys, three weeks ago, all I was worried about was this knee. I had no idea what was coming. Now, I really don't even notice the knee. All I'm worried about is keeping everyone out there safe. Take one more figure four stretch. Flex those feet. Now that we're laying here, not working so hard, takes a nice deep breath. You can let the air back in the belly now. Good, uncross that leg. Put the foot on the floor. There's your hamstring. Stretch for this side. Drawing in. Rotate the ankle. Nice. Take it out to the side. Stretching the inside line of the leg. A couple breaths there. And then as you do, you're going to take that other leg to the floor. Bend the knee. Cross across the body. Open up. Ooh. It's been fun. It's been fun teaching again. I don't know who's watching. I prefer having my students live in class. I miss you guys. Um, this is a fun way to try to get some content out there. So thank you um, again. Probably not the best form I've ever had, but it's better than nothing, and it's a good lesson to us that even when you're hurting, you can come back. A lot of us are hurting out there. A lot of us are worried and anxious right now, um, but know that just moving will make you feel so much better. So keep on trying this. Keep on. Um, there's so many great videos out there. So many of my friends are posting awesome content. So check it out. I'll keep liking and sharing. Um, and I hope you guys are all well. Tell me what you thought of this and be well. Take care.